First, thank you for everybody showing up and watching the channel and taking in all the information I provide. I am always trying to look at new ways to give you information and today you're going to find this video completely different than anything we've done before. So I want you to hang in there, watch at the end. You're going to see a lot of, of the places in the area of Cape Coral, a lot of destinations to take yourself to when you get here. Many things in Cape Coral can be difficult, um, but you're going to use GPS for almost everything. I think I've told you this before, we have a lot of canals like the one you see behind me. And if you're not using GPS, there's a very good chance that you're going to get lost. You're going to get blocked in or boxed in because these canals can literally cut a road off. So you have to be able to pull that out to find your way. Now, I'm gonna show you on the map as well as the destination, what it looks like today for each of our stops. And I got a little surprise for a couple of the stops that we have where you're gonna get more information from people other than me. Today, we're gonna to be talking about where to find things when living in Cape Coral, Florida. We're getting after that next. Hey everybody, my name is Craig Cooney. I'm a real estate agent here in Southwest Florida. If you're looking for a channel to tell you a little bit more about what it's like to live, play, eat, sleep, and buy real estate on the Gulf Coast, this is a channel for you. Go ahead, subscribe, hit the little bell to make sure you're notified every time. And to get your search started in advance, go to ournextfloridahome.com or use our mobile app, Our Next Florida Home. If you can't get the answers you're looking for through the videos or on the website or anywhere else, you've got to do what everyone else is doing, call, text, or email, because I've got your back moving to the Gulf Coast. Okay guys, today, right now for dinner, we're doing Cooper's Hawk, it's mom's birthday. So we're gonna celebrate by going in this place. I'll give you a little bit of an idea of what it's like in there, but if you're looking for an, a little higher scale um, type of place to get out to eat, really good food, really good ambiance. They have a wine club, so this could be the place for you if you're looking for a nicer place to dine in Fort Myers. Okay, mom, we just finished our dinner, our birthday dinner here at Cooper Hawk. I'm taking my wine home. She's taking her truffles home, her birthday truffles. So how would you rate this on a scale of one to 10? She had Parmesan crusted mahi mahi. What'd you think of that? Oh, I think it was a 10. It was delicious. Awesome. And you know what? I tried something different. I love filet mignon. It's my thing. And I did the Parmesan crusted it was fantastic. So if you're coming to Cooper Hawk and you want to get one of the best pieces of meat you're ever going to have, get the Parmesan crusted filet mignon. It was amazing. Hey, as for the side of risotto, it's not a side on there, but you can still get it. All right, so this is the gym at about 11 in the morning over at New York Sports Club, used to be Anytime Fitness. Just trying to get a sweat on. This is one of the many options you'll have when you come here. So check them all out, see which one you're most comfortable in. Okay, here we are at Merrick's. Just wanted to show the band here, the live music, and here's Zach and Joey. <laughs> anyway, I'll try to review the food as we go along. All right, so this is our breakfast. I said uh, the music behind us is possibly washing us out, but look at these different Benedicts. Uh, awesome, and then breakfast tacos. We'll, uh, we'll give it a try and give a rating. Okay, here we are outside of Merrick's, just finished up brunch. Zach and Joey, we had an amazing breakfast. I did the breakfast tacos. Zach, what'd you get? I got the filet mignon and lobster benedict and it was outstanding, very good. Joey? I had the king crab benedict and it was also outstanding. Just some of the best benedict I think I've had aside from yours. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. So, are you saying are you thinking you guys would be back then? We would Absolutely. definitely come back. Good vibes, hot butter nuggets playing. It's just it's a good place. The service was awesome. They're very friendly. It's definitely a five star place. Yep. 
All right, guys, so there it is, a review from people actually enjoying this place and not just hearing it from this realtor selling you something. <laughs> I'll be back at you at our next, next destination. Guys, you've heard me talk a million times about the boathouse as a waterfront premier place that I love to go in Cape Coral, but it's still not open. So the food has never been the best there either. So it's more about the atmosphere and the water views. But here we are at Michelli's. Michelli's restaurant. There's a sign behind me. And this is a place that a lot of people like to come. It's out in Mat Lache. Yes, Mat Lache was also a little bit beat up in the storm, but this place survived. My other favorite, Burt's, which is all about the water views again, is not here anymore. So, my mom's here with some friends having some lunch, and we're gonna go interrupt them and find out what they think of the food here at Michelli's. All right guys, as I told you, this is not the premier place for the view per se, but you do get a waterfront view. This is what the, the pass looks like that when you come out here. The outside area of Michelli's, they normally have live music playing back here. You see they have a little tiki hut. It was a little cool breeze today, um, as you can see, a little overcast, so it's not that uncomfortable. But uh, there's a uh, group of ladies, about 15 of them inside eating right now, and I'm going to try to get a review from them as far as what they think of the food as soon as we get this thing wrapped up. All right, everybody, we're about to get the review. We've already seen what it looks like in here. We've got a group of ladies having their lunch. Okay, guys, thumbs up, thumbs down. All right, looks like we had a consensus. This is this is a place to come to have great food. This is the middle of the day, so it's not too busy. And if you want to sit out on the water, I already showed you what that looks like. So Michelli's is your next stop if you're looking for a waterfront dining in Cape Coral. Okay, I'm here with my friend and client, Lauren. We're going to go to lunch here at Rum Runners. So we're expecting to have a good meal. It's a relatively warm day, little breeze blowing. We're gonna to try to sit outside on the water, give you a shot of the lock so you can see what that looks like out back. And if you happen to be bringing a boat, there's spots you can take a boat up to this place. But we'll follow up and tell you how the food was after. Okay guys, we decided to order the tuna poke bowls. So we will let you know how that turns out. In the meantime, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of the, again, down at the lock at Rum Runners, which is over there. And then if you want to come pull your boat in, have lunch, a lot of outdoor seating. But we'll be back to give you a review of the food. So we just wrapped up. Yes, Lauren is still here. We're going to see what she thought of the tuna poke bowl that we had. Just give a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't want to say anything. It was delicious. All right, awesome. So there you go, waterfront dining. Southwest Cape, great food, quick service, very quick service as well. And I'm gonna be talking a little bit more about, they have a doggy menu here too. So if you have a furry family member you don't wanna leave behind, bring them on down to Rum Runners and get your fill of all the good foods and the uh, alcohol. It looks like they've got a running little tiki here. So come on down, check it out. Here's another cool destination. This is one that you're absolutely gonna to wanna to stop if you have kids or if you just love the water parks but this is Sun Splash. You can see the kids up on the platforms up there getting ready to get on the slides. Uh, there's all kinds of slides all down through here. A lot of times there's mu music fests and, and different, uh, there's a coconut um, fest that they do here and they bring live bands, uh, they have fireworks shows, all that kind of stuff. And right next to it, right behind us, that is the new pickleball courts that are gonna be coming in. That is that huge recreation area that I mentioned that they're putting in, I forget how many, like 36 courts or something ridiculous. They wanna compete with the, the Naples Park and have tournaments and things here, but that is a massive, as you can see, massive project that's going on right now. And then if you keep turning back over this way, on the other side of that building is the Eagle Skate Park. So if your kids are into skateboards, bicycles, doing tricks off of ramps and things like that, that's literally right down the road. So this is an area full of different things for the family. Uh, there's a bowling alley in this neighborhood as well, and a miniature golf course. So all kinds of stuff to do. Check the map for reference to the location. We're right here off of Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara Boulevard, which is the main artery that goes north and south through this center of Cape Coral. This is another place to put your boat in, store your boat. Um, Port 32, and there's another version of this down in Naples, 
but that's where you're going to go is another opportunity to purchase a boat, rent a boat, um, and store your boat, the boathouse, right here on Del Prado. We're going down now Beach Parkway. I'm going to give you a view of, again, another beautiful neighborhood. Um, this is going to be mostly condos, as you can tell. And these condos are on water. Yes, this is Golf Access Condo. Um, you can see we have the bike lanes on the right sides of the roads here. There is a sidewalk. So if you're active and you want to get out, at the end of this is why we're driving down this for one reason and one reason only. JC Park. When you see what this thing offers, you might put this on your schedule of places to stop. All right, so we are now at JC Park. JC Park is a waterfront, saltwater waterfront park. You can see it has tons, some of the tons of these whispering pines. And there's playground for the children, restrooms, all these parking spots, all these picnic spots right on the river. There's a walking path that goes all the way around this. And to give you a little perspective, on the size there's a pavilion for for picnics but this place is amazing a lot of people make this as you can see right there they make this their afternoon come down here enjoy this beautiful view and the shade is saying uh, there's a little breeze running around today are a little bit blessed on having another amazing uh, weather day to be able to enjoy this stuff but I was out here the other day and there was a dolphin chasing fish. It's pretty cool to see, but yeah. How, how does it get any better than this? So again, this is in the Southeast Cape, JC Park, put it on your map and get here. This is downtown area of Cape Coral again. This is Cape Coral Parkway. So you'll see many businesses, Iguanamia, one of our Mexican places right here. But this is kind of what all the shopping plazas and things look like around here about one story just kind of all lining each side of the street here's that project again 47th cove a massive project we're undertaking there's going to be a bimini basin project we also have this apartment complex that came in back there so lots and lots of stuff going on by the way 47th cove um, that's also going to have a sky bar so that is something exciting for Cape Coral. All right, there's the parking garage over there. Pinterest is right here on the right. Those condos are all for sale. There's a couple of buildings there, so if you're interested in living this kind of lifestyle, you can see all the businesses. This is also a bunch of shops. Marker 92 is the other waterfront place with uh, Pinchers and like I said before, uh, Naughty Mermaid. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the parking garage real quick and get you a little tour. Okay, so we're just walking up into the um, into the marina area right now. This is the kind of view that you're gonna get from the places. As I said, there's a bunch of shops. But this is the marina. Still recovering, obviously, from the storm. Looks like things are getting in order though. And right over to the side there, you'll see the Naughty Mermaid. Very nice overall place. Pinterest is gonna be down at this end. And Marker 92 is around the front side. And as I explained, these shops, the place gather is down here as well. And then the West End. So if this is what you're looking for is a possible destination. There's also a ferry that leaves out of here to get over to Fort Myers Beach. They dock it on the back side of the island in the Bay Area, and that's how you get to Fort Myers Beach without having to deal with all the traffic. All right, so we were down here the other day for Rum Runners, and you can see the two condo towers that are down here at Cape Harbor. So if you're looking for water views or elevated views in the South Cape, this is kind of one of the places, one of the only two places that have the towers. You saw Tarpon Point, but we're gonna do a quick little run through on the other side of where Cape Harbor is that you didn't see when we were at Rum Runners. 
All right, guys, we just rolled into Cape Harbor and I'm gonna show you what it looks like here. There's also boat storage here. We are seeing this the other day. That's the boat storage. There's rum runners, but you can check into high and dry prices there. There's a crane right there that also is responsible for putting the boats in and out. And you can get in this place. I know the rate was a little bit higher here than it is at my, the place I have my boat now, but here's the towers from down below. So if this is some kind of living that you think you would want to do, Cape Harbor's the place to do it. All right, we got some wind whistling through here, so I don't know if it's gonna affect the, the video, but, or the sound. Anyway, this is, you can see here, Fathoms has a little outdoor bar area, and it tends to be very popular, especially in season. Right now, you'll see your people are here already. But the other thing that's kind of unique about Cape Harbor and why people love it is loaded with shops up and down, up and down. So you got shops down there, shops behind us. You've got the bar section and showed you the high and dry. Well, they've also got this wonderful marina. So if you want to keep your boat down here, it's a bigger boat, needs a slip. This is where you're going to put it. Okay, we're stopping over at the Veterans Memorial area. All right, this is the Four Mile Cove uh, Eco Park. And the reason why I'm stopping here, this is a heavy um, veteran presence in this area. We have an Iwo Jima statue down right past that building. And we also have the large flag here. This is, uh, this is an area that most every veteran that I've heard of stops at. Um, these memorial uh, memorials they have set up up here are pretty cool. But what I wanted to do also is walk you into the uh, a section of the park up here. We have this eco preserve, and what's really cool about it is you can see different animals that are um, native to our area. And this park offers kayaking. You can come rent kayaks and go in the river. Uh, there's a separate section you have to go to to get to it, but that is another activity you can do. And the park's open from sunset, to sun, sunrise to sunset, so it's going to be daylight hours, obviously. You don't want to be stuck out here if there's a lot of animals and things prowling around at night. But this is what's really cool about this setup is the boardwalks. It is literally tree-lined boardwalks. These things are really cool. So you can come out here during the summertime. Right now there's a cool breeze, probably 85 degrees today. And between the shade from the trees and this little breeze, man, this is actually a great place to go for an afternoon. Look at the shade, great place. And you're out in nature. And yes, I know the background noise of the traffic, we'll, we'll get away from that in a little bit, but this is a great spot. Come out here on a romantic walk, come out for exercise, bring the family and educate them. Whatever you want to make of it, this is a great place to stop and take in some of nature in Cape Coral, Florida. Okay guys, one of the major shortfalls for Cape Coral is the shopping. That's one of our best options here in the Cape. Belks is another one. There's a bunch of little smaller like dress barns and famous footwear and stuff like that. So if you're really looking for a major shopping opportunity, we're going to go visit next week and show you some things over on the Fort Myers side. This week we're just trying to stick to Cape Coral, so that is one thing you will fall short on is shopping. Um, Fort Myers definitely over in the Miramar Outlets, which is actually a little more like a Stero, but we'll get to that uh, again next week. I'll show you a little bit more about that, and we're going to be on to our next stop here momentarily. Okay, so I stopped here. This is the Coralwood Plaza. What's unique about this is there's a, some different stores here. While there's only one clothing, which would be Bell's right over this way, it's an outlet store, so it's not their main store. Um, Alta for the ladies that want to get your beauty supplies right there. And Home Goods, again, not for clothes, but you can get decor for the house there. Um, so there are some other options of things that can keep you in Cape Coral. And right over there is the Marquee Cinemas. And what I love about the Marquee Cinemas is they have recliners. They have rows of recliners, stadium seating. And there's only, if I had to guess, maybe 30 seats in each of these little theaters. So very, very um, tight quarters as far as the room goes. So the sound really reverberates in there well. 
And again, stadium seating and recliners, big plush leather seats. So if that's your bag, if you like going to the movies, that's the place you're going to go. Um, and for all you crafty people, there's a Hobby Lobby right behind me. That has one of our largest craft stores. So this plaza does give you quite a bit of stuff to deal, uh, to pick up. And we also have, I believe, yeah, across the street over this way is an ABC Liquor. And then there's a Starbucks right back in there. So if you're one of those Starbucks people, again, this is on Del Prado. This is just before the um, Veterans Parkway um, connection. Okay, guys, we're over at the hospital. This is the Cape Coral Hospital. We have one hospital in the city, and this is where you're going to come. Um, the other thing that's very unique about this area is Del Prado is where this is located. Del Prado is one of the main roads in Cape Coral. And you'll see that, I don't know if you're going to catch much of it, but there's businesses that line the other side of the street, and it goes all the way down. It's almost all shopping plazas, but we're going to be stopping off at a couple places to show you a little bit more about what you can find here. But Hospital also has a lot of medical buildings behind this. This whole neighborhood back here, right back into this neighborhood, right over there, that has a ton of um, medical buildings, specialists, office, things like that. So if you need those kind of things close by for you, you want to be living off of Del Prado Boulevard. All right, guys, today we are out at Coral Oaks Golf Course at the nine-hole league that I have every week. We've got a couple flights here waiting to go, but if you're looking for a place to golf in Cape Coral in the Northwest, it's a city course. It's done relatively well. Conditions aren't always great, but if you're looking for a place to golf that's relatively inexpensive, check out Coral Oaks. Okay, I had to stop over here at Farmer Joe's Market. This is our equivalent of Whole Foods, and this is where you're going to find a lot of your produce and things like that. I don't normally shop at a place like this. Um, this is kind of taking it even a level further than Publix. Uh, most of my shopping, believe it or not, is done at uh, Sam's, only because of the fact that I get things in bulk. I have to prep food for the week, just a lot easier. But if you're coming for, for the freshest produce and if you're looking for that cut of meat that you just have to have, this is a good spot to stop in. We only have one of them. It's on the southwest side of Cape Coral. and. They're competing right across the street with Aldi's. Yeah, I know. But Aldi's also has a lot of great things in there. They might be, you know, Scattles and Four Musketeers as the brands, but <laughs> but they're inexpensive. And there are some good foods in there. They have organic fruits and vegetables. Um, lots of good meat selections. I actually get a herb-crusted Mediterranean um, salmon in there. Very, very good, reasonable price. So if you're looking for areas to shop, Again, you have these, you know Publix, that name is gonna be everywhere. Just about every section of the Cape has that. But here's another option for you if you're looking for the next level in your produce. As our next destination here for shopping is Sam's Club. This is our only big box. Actually, we have two big boxes over here. It's this one and BJ's. I do use it quite a bit for the gas station. Which, let's see, where's prices? Right there. So, not looking too bad right now, but Anyway, just wanted to uh, bounce over here real quick and show you that this is where you're going to be going if you're doing big box. Costco's is once again in Fort Myers, so we'll revisit that again uh, when we do next week's video. But the only other large shopping stores you're going to find here like this, a little smaller scale, is Super Walmart and Super Target. We do have those. I'm over here at Sam's Club. I know I told you the other day about uh, using it for gas purposes, but the only drawback the lines just lines of people that are coming to get their gas all at the same time because the price right now is 349 for premium and 319 for regular so yeah this is the place to go let's see yep see they're still rolling in on top of everyone's been waiting already okay so i obviously was really excited to show you this new style that I'm working with trying to present the city to you in a whole nother way. And I completely forgot to invite you to call me, text me, or email me. So we're gonna do that now, but I just want to invite you to check out one of these other videos if you're looking for more information about moving to Southwest Florida. Or if you aren't getting the answers you're looking for, you've gotta do one of three things. Call, text, or email, because I've got your back when moving to the Gulf Coast.